The last episode of the Nimble Vlog was about culture transformation. I talk about the importance of developing a culture model to prioritize, focus, and fuel the necessary shift in mindsets and behaviors. So today I will share with you the framework that we use when working with clients on bringing their specific culture model to life. It's basically one picture that shows all the primary levers for culture change. And we use it almost as a checklist while strategizing and then executing the culture shift. First, the culture model itself is a lever because it focuses the effort and also because it anchors all the other levers. So it is critical to uh, communicate it widely and to keep it top of mind all the time. The other levers are grouped under three categories. Hard levers, soft levers, and the keystone lever. They are all important and uh, effective, but the keystone lever is more important than the other one. To paraphrase uh, George Orwell and his uh, animal farm, I could say that uh, all levers are created equal, but the keystone lever is more equal than the others. But before I disclose what it is, let me first talk about hard levers and soft levers. The hard levers relate to your management systems and processes, as well as uh, your physical and virtual work environment. They are the major components of your organizational hardware. And as such, they contribute to shaping behaviors and therefore the culture. So it's important that uh, you uh, alter them as necessary in order to promote and enable the priority uh, mindset and behaviors from the culture model. Activating the hard levers is, in a sense, a realignment effort. It is technical in nature. Equally important is activating the soft levers. They relate to the software of the organization, which is your people. Who you promote, who you hire, who you let go, all that shapes your culture. Similarly, your learning programs, your onboarding programs drive the culture. Therefore, ensure they are aligned with the culture model, enable it, support it. Also, pay special attention to symbols, stories, and rituals because they are very powerful levers. At Amazon, when Jeff Bezos used this famous two pizza rule, that was a symbol to promote nimbleness. At 3M, when they kept telling employees how one of their colleagues, Dr. Spencer Silver, invented the post-it note, that was a story to promote bottom-up innovation. When a leader starts uh, every meeting by uh, asking what decision has to be made and who is the decision maker, that is a ritual to promote, to drive agile decision making. So, having a culture model to encore everything and activating both hard levers and soft levers is critical to successful culture transformation. But it won't work unless you also activate the keystone lever, which is about leadership. That's right. Unless a bulk of your leaders embrace the culture model, which means unless they bring it to life every single day through their action in everything they do, you won't succeed in shifting the culture. And it must start at the top with the CEO and the C-suite. I know some folks are talking about bottom-up uh, culture change, but in my experience, it is first and foremost a top-down process because of the keystone lever. So, to summarize, in order to shift your culture, start by developing a culture model and then bring it to life by activating all the levers of culture change. But, as uh, in the animal farm, remember that one lever is more equal than the others and it is the leadership of your organization, from the top to the bottom.